Hello, my name is Jesse from Atomic Robotics 3805, and I'm going to be discussing some basic game strategies for Teleop and Endgame. So the first strategy I'd like to discuss is something that we'll probably see a lot at the beginning league plays or whatever your local equivalent is, and that's essentially just contesting beacons throughout the entire the of uh, Teleop and Endgame. So here's our beacon contestors, group one, and essentially the idea is you just keep going to the beacons in Teleop and you keep contesting them so that other teams will have to take time out of their strategy to bring them back to their color. The main advantage of this is that you take time away from them if they have something better to do, such as scoring in the center vortex or capping the ball, and you'll usually end up with two to three beacons in your color at the end of the match. The second strategy I'd like to talk about is capping the ball in endgame as well as hitting the beacons in uh, Telia. So much like the previous strategy, the majority of the time is going to be spent capturing the beacons. Uh, so here's our group number two. They, they just love beacons and cap balls. So they're gonna go, let's say they're on the red side. They're gonna spend all of Telia just going back and forth between all of these beacons. And much like the first strategy, contesting them so you're wasting time for the other team. If they have to go cap it back, then you're taking time from away from what they're doing. And then the end game, taking the cap ball from either, uh, whichever side you're on, so for the Red Alliance, you'd grab the cap ball uh, from wherever it is, maybe it's somewhere else from Autonomous, and then lift it to the top and uh, score it in your center vortex. Th this strategy is a little risky in the end game because other robots can knock into you while you're lifting the cap ball, but we think that this is a, among the better of early on strategies since that's a very big burst of points that other strategies such as uh, scoring, particles in the center vortex are, would be a lot harder to do early on when the mechanisms aren't quite as refined. The third strategy is primarily revolving around scoring particles into the center vortex. You start with three in uh, autonomous, and if you score any beacons in autonomous, then you get an additional one for each beacon of your color. A uh, maximum of two extras, so it doesn't count if the other team scores uh, the beacons into your color as well. So. Group three up here, all they want to do is go and sit right around in this area and keep grabbing particles and scoring them back into the center vortex. You get five points per particle scored in the center vortex, and most mechanisms that we've seen don't have the fastest cycle time, so early on in league plays we don't believe this will be the best strategy because things like the cap ball and beacons have a lot bigger surges of points that we believe will beat out a uh, rather slow central vortex scoring mechanism. The last strategy I'll be discussing is a robot that primarily scores in the corner vortex and contests the beacons as well. So this could go one of two ways. A group up here, number four, is going to either focus a lot more on scoring in the corner vortex, so over here, or on the red side as well, scoring particles into the corner vortex the problem that we've found with this is that when you score a particle into the corner vortex, it shoots all the way out and goes into the opposite corner of where you scored. So it isn't the most efficient thing and you only get one point for each particle scored. So if you can't do anything else in a game, then this is generally an okay thing to do. But these robots would also primarily be scoring beacons and contesting them to waste time from other teams. So these were our strategies that we've came up with as sort of a basic idea of what we think we'll be seeing at our league play. We're primarily going to be focusing on the cap ball and uh, the beacons and autonomous as well as Telia. Hit the links below to visit our social media and email us if you have any questions. Thanks for watching!